guys, Betsy Gamer here, and we are playing some more Transformers Prime. I hope you're excited as I am for episode two, and this episode is going to go a little different from our last one, um, since uh, we're playing as a different character. Um, so let's go ahead and find out what exactly happened. Uh, in the last episode, if you remember, we... Um, the Autobots fell out of space, heading toward the Earth, uh, after the meteorite exploded that was full of dark energon, and, um, they, the dark energon is kind of masking the Autobot life signal, which is not good. Most of the time when Autobot life signals are offline, they are no longer alive, but in this case, they're, they're just being masked which is need help. better. <laughs> um, so, um, so, in this cutscene, Ratchet just needs to go check on where the meteor is. Maybe an Autobot went there. Um, but soon after he leaves, something amazing happens. But if you look closely, um, you see only three lights blinking. Those are Autobot life signals. And those are just Bulkhead, Bumblebee, and RC. Uh, Optimus is still closed. Uh, well, not closed, but masked due to the dark energy. But don't worry, he's fine. I can assure you, he is fine. Um, but, um, so let's go ahead and See what we need to do. Um, Jack, I'm so what if he let's needs help see right now? here. Can oh, right. Um, the subject for today. Right. Today, I wanted to talk about um, like in the last episode, I talked about the different types of energon, um, which we're going to actually okay. get to see right. really the pure nice. energon and synthetic energon here in a minute. Um, but I wanted to talk about RC because we are playing as her today. Um, and I'll be doing this with every episode, is that I'll kind of talk about the Autobot I'm playing as, depending on what is going on in the episode, of course. Like in this episode, we or in this uh, level, we are trying to stop Arachnid, um, who we met in the last episode, briefly. Um, but, uh, I really want to talk about Arcee's kind of personal life, just because she's, she's probably one of the misunderstood bots, I want to say. Um, she may be small, but she's actually a really tough bot. Um, she doesn't say much, but that's probably just because of her past. Um, she has lost two partners, which has not been easy for her whatsoever. And she, um, that, and for our first partner, we think it's a human series, but, um, he was killed by a rapid. Um, and his name was Tailgate. Um, Tailgate was, um, I, I don't know. I don't really know what... I don't know much about Tailgate, because again, he died technically before the okay? series even started. There should be a factory um, Look for some huge chimneys. but... I'll open a let's see. The, um... Thank you, Jack, but you should stay there. Huh, <sighs> let me think. Um... What are you talking about? Well, that was her first partner, and... If you look at horror films, um... You know, like how sometimes they um, will splatter blood when there's a massive death. That's kind of what they showed with Tailgate, but that's all they showed. They didn't really get to see how he really looked like or anything like that. Um, but her second partner was uh, Cliffjumper, and we did get to see him um, mainly in flashbacks, um, but he was in the very first episode of um, but that's all he was in, but passed away, sadly. 
um, who was actually killed by Starscream. And Starscream, we already met, met um, and we'll meet him again in the next episode, um, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, I don't remember if we're both dead or or no more one or two. I always get it mixed up. Um, but, um, RC, her second partner, Cliffjumper, um, I can go ahead and take a picture. Picture me, put a picture up of Cliffjumper. Um, he, um, was the, he was a bot that spoke a lot. Um, RC even said one time that, like, she didn't never, she never thought she could the clips constant chatter, but now nothing's more louder to her than silence. And, um, they, they had a true bond. They really did. And, um, but, I mean, they even arrived on Earth together. So, it, it must have been really hard on her. Uh, when it, it was really hard on her when Cliff Tripper passed away. And Ragnid, actually, when we made her in the TV show, she's a rogue Decepticon. Um, the Ar Arachnid, she, she is not like most Decepticons. She can actually attack the under the ground. I'm so glad she doesn't do that here. Uh, if she did, that would be you know, ten times harder. Uh, other than that, she is fairly easy to beat in both levels that we face her. Um, we'll face her again in the future level. Um, but um, she's nowhere as difficult as um, some of the other, as some of the other Decepticons that we have to face. Um, like, Arachnid, I think it's kind of appropriate that they have um, RC and Arachnid actually fighting in these because they truly are arch enemies and they fight a lot. Uh, Transformers Prime, uh, not the video game, but the game. Um, wow, why is it after the The TV show. Uh, um, Oh, if you do want to watch the Transformers Prime show, it is on Netflix. Um, oh, I can never get out of that. Okay? It's more than out of that stupid web. Oh, speaking of the web, uh, you may notice that Arachnid has stains on her back. Those are actually part of her legs. Um, she is a spider punk. A sci spider Um, it's Chance to name a rag name. So, yeah, <laughs> that's where she stands. Um, and look at that, we already defeated her. That's awesome. But the level's not over yet. Um, oh, great, Jack just revealed where he was. Um, Jack? But now we have to get to. Uh, Oops. This is actually a not very easy part, especially if you've never played this before. Luckily, because I have, I know how to do crawls, even though I can show you. Um, so, now, um, I guess one thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, I did mention this was on the Wii U, but I have a Pro Controller, which is why you can take that controller and not the gamepad. So, the gamepad, I feel it's a little bit harder, so I use the actual controller. So, they, um, are, uh, like, I find the controller to be a lot easier, because that's just something that I've been Um, but you can go any way if you want, really. Um, so, but, but, and I found it easier to control in this mode than any other mode, so to speak. Um, uh, what's it? There it is. Uh, now, if you're noticing the 
little square things uh, that are counting up. I have no idea what those are for. I, 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 and I played this I think, several times actually now, and I still don't know what this is for. Those are for. If I find out, I'll let you know. Um, but uh, this level, but this episode kind of ran a little short, but it's about the same as my last episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, we successfully beat Arachnid and saved Jack, which is good. Um, so um, let's go ahead and cut this cut, short cutscene go through, and we'll see how we did. You should uh, a human, RC. Yeah, you, RC. Yeah, arachnid. Weakness. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, let's see how we did. Alright, we got an F, which is good. Amazing. So, in the next episode, we'll, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!